Hello, welcome back. In the last lecture, we have developed our hybrid framework. In the hybrid framework, we are driving the steps by using this keyword.xls and which is something like this. So these are the steps that I'm writing and I'm going to I'm going to have this Excel sheet with all the steps and then all the parameters and the keyword. Those things are properly filled in this Excel sheet. And then I'm going to read the data from the search criteria.xls and that is something is going to look like this. Here I'm going to put the data from city to city, left date, return date. And I can put as many number of uh, you know data sets that's going to run for those data sets. So recall what we have asked you in the very first class. We asked you to develop a browser automation. You know, instead of you going to the orbis.com or kayak.com or tableaucity.com, you write a robot or you write a program and that program is going to do the automation for you. And at this moment, at this after maybe about 30 to 40 video lectures, so maybe after 30, uh, so so that was the, that was our goal. And now, after around 30 videos, we learned how to do that. Okay. So basically, what in this video, my objective is to show how this thing work and if it is really giving you the debt and it's really uh, working working or not. All right. So I'm going to run this program right now, and what I'm expecting here is that I have three different uh, sets of website I'm automating. One is Orbis, and second one is Travelocity, and third one is Kayak. And I am running with four different combinations of data from San Francisco to CDG, DFW Frankfurt, SFO Milan, Chicago to CDG. So if I run all these things, okay, so essentially I have four data set, I have three different websites. So that means total combinations I'm going to do, I'm going to search 12 times. Okay, and all those 12 times, you now if I do it manually, see how cumbersome uh, it, it would be. So now just your program is going to do that. So let's run the program. And what I've done here, I have put like you know I have you know in, in my store text case I have print a statement that give me the itinerary and what is the price so what I'm expecting here I'm going to see 12 times all right so I'm going to see the itinerary for 12 times and then also what I have done here I have computing the minimum fare all right so let's run this program now So, okay, so let's run the program. So, run a Java program. So, let's see what is coming up. Okay, so here is the program is running right now and it's first looking at the orvis.com because if you see our keyword that is the first step and looks like it already found out the price from SFO to CDG and this is the living date and the return date and the price was 1209. Okay, and also it found out how to figure out from the travelocity.com. Alright, and then the price for Traversity is coming around 11.25. So look at this. It looks like using Kayak, we are getting a you know price that is 3280. That is something obviously not we are going to do it. Okay, but essentially anyway, like you know, this is what you know, our program is going to tell us which website is giving the best deal. All right, and it's going to run 12 times. So already I have finished three times. So it's, it's going to run, uh, and already we are finished for the you know data set that is from from San Francisco to CDG and right now we are finding from DFW to Frankfurt 
and already got for Orvis and right now running for Travelocity and yeah Travelocity is finished right now so looks like you know here in uh, DFW to Frankfurt uh, both of them Orvis and both Orvis and Travelocity give me the same rate but looks like Kayak is giving me a high rate 1181 but whatever it is so it's, it's going to run and it's going to uh, run everything and then it will give us the minimum fare so let's wait for some time so let's wait for some time to, to run it completely All right. So now, so let's take a look at the logs of the program completed. And uh, these are the twelve different prices that whatever we got. And the minimum price looks like it's coming ninety six nine six seven point five. The itinerary is the website is Travelocity that is giving the minimum price. And the flight is from ORD, which is Chicago to CTG Paris. All right. On twelve twenty four two thousand one two, just Christmas Eve coming back in your safe okay so what you have learned so far okay so this is how this is what so basically so with this you answer the first question that we have asked and while answering the question you learn how to use selenium to automate the browser okay and then the, the case study whatever we done you know while running so so while uh, learning selenium we also learn a couple of things we learn how to use selenium IDE to prototype something then we learn how to identify web elements by different techniques like uh, XPath, CSS, ID, name and so on. Then we learn that IDE cannot do everything that we want. We want a very sophisticated hybrid framework or a, we, we, we need a very sophisticated data driven framework and that IDE cannot do. Therefore we learn how to program okay and we use a Java program on you know even though there are a lot of other ways that you can program Selenium, but we learn how to use Java bindings to program it. All right, and then we we develop a data-driven framework so that we can read the parameters from an Excel file. Today you are reading from Excel file. Tomorrow, if you like, you just read from an database uh, from a database. All right. So what you just need to do, you just need to change that Excel read okay so the excel read method would be changed to something called database read method and then you read the data into that two dimensional array then do a for loop all right then we generalize the program so that we can include any number of web any number of travel application like orbis kayak and travelocity and then we learn that how quickly we can add a new travel site without modifying a single line of Java code 
alright and that is what is we called keyword driven framework then we put both data driven framework and keyword driven framework and we built a hybrid framework so with this you have learned I hope I hope you learned a lot of things about selenium how to use selenium to automate different things so one of the very important tasks that selenium does is to test web application itself okay that means we can use the selenium tool in testing web application so that is what is the part two of this course is we will use whatever we learned so far to test a web application thank you